So my Zane mains out there will know we have a new class mod with DLC 4 and it's called the Hustler. But is this thing actually any good? Well today guys, we get to the bottom of what this thing does. And should you be using this over the likes of the Seen Dead or even the Antifreeze? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support hitting that like button truly helps out and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. So my Zane mains out there. Is this new class mod actually any good? Because when you first see this thing, it actually reads like it could indeed be a great class mod to experiment with those. Which I guess you should be doing anyway. But let me tell you a little about what I found when experimenting with this thing. Now I won't get into the deep numbers of how this thing works because I don't think that's needed and I don't really want this video going on for 20 minutes either. So firstly, the hustler and how you get this thing. Well it drops from Locomobius upon Sapphire's run. And what it does is as follows. Damaging an enemy with a non-critical hit grants Zane a stacking plus 25% increased critical damage and a plus 5% chance for non-critical hits to score a critical hit which consumes all stacks. This skill stacks 5 times. And while right there it sounds great. Well actually people, no, not at all. This thing is a massive disappointment. Because the way this class mod works is, it's truly deceptive. Because those critical hits it promises to stack or even score on non-critical shots ain't true crit shots. And let me quickly explain. In the world of Borderlands there are different types of critical shots. There are actual crit shots where we hit the enemy square in the face and we get critical damage and this basically applies a 2 times damage over that base damage before any multipliers are applied. This with multiple items you can equip. You can buff this standard critical damage and lay down ridiculous amounts of critical damage. And these are the critical shots we like. But then there are other types of critical shots known as post add crits. Flak for instance has some of these fake critical bonuses that are added when hitting a crit spot but are not part of the main crit formula. Their damage is based on normal damage alone ignoring other critical damage bonuses like the 2 times crit base and also weapon critical bonuses and so much more. But then people there are other types of critical shots known as post add crits. Flak for instance has some of these. And these crit bonuses are added when hitting a crit spot but are not part of the main crit formula. Their damage is based on normal damage alone, ignoring other critical bonuses like the standard critical shot where we get 2 times that base damage. These post add crits don't get this. They also don't get bonuses from weapon crit damages that we see on class mods as well as artifacts and any other bonus to critical damage do not apply to post add crit shots. These bonuses with flak are like fade away, hunter's eye which is against humans only and uh, plus 50% crit damage after a rack attack anointment and wow people that's exactly what this hustler class mod is or does. As juicy as the crit bonuses seem to be on this item card they ain't actually true critical hits and well when you know this and go back and read that item card and what this class mod offers, you see that this class mod in fact is actually a pretty poor one considering. And even the skills available on it, the best in my opinion is Brain Freeze. Where this I first thought meant we would indeed be freezing enemies with body shots. But in actual fact, that doesn't seem to be the case at all. Because the mere fact the post add crit shot is applied here means even when you hit those non crit shots stacking that damage up to 125% that is a flat damage bonus which doesn't gain any buffs or multipliers from any other source and it doesn't even have the standard 2 times multiplier that a normal crit shot would have. So realistically that 6th shot and every 6th shot if you're going for them body shots is straight 125% extra damage over a body shot and only for a single bullet or pellet and then it refreshes so every 6 body shots you get one shot that's 125% extra damage that is it and well when I used this thing I felt no difference from using no class mod at all and that really sums this thing up so for people wondering is this a better class mod than the scene dead heck no it ain't and it seems as though Zane players got screwed yet again with the scene dead in my opinion it was like Gearbox were playing catch up with Zane and just gave us the ultimate class mod straight up. 
and it's stuck ever since. It's a shame because besides the scene dead, I mean, yeah, the antifreeze is okay too, but in my opinion, nothing touches the scene dead, which is a shame. As with every other Vault Hunter in the game, they have multiple class mods, which do lay down great benefits. With Zane, it's just a scene dead. And it's a one class mod, which in my opinion is true end game. And guys, that is it. The Hustler, well, is a true disappointment. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.